I'm doing another video because it's mainly about this trip out here today. And I've, like I said, I've got a spare camera. I've got um, the video, the camera charger, which I've got new leads for, which should work. I bought two new sets of small leads the other day. So it should charge. Oh, but, uh, I just can't get over the, how much there is for me to explore in Somerset. I mean, there's a the whole country, but I feel I should home in more in my own county. Although Suffolk and Cambridge, London, of course, are very strong in my tree, in my family tree. I mean, I was born in Somerset, so I can actually say I'm Somerset, really. So I was born here. But my, neither of my parents were. Neither of my grand, None of my grandparents. None of my great-grandparents were great-great-greats. None of them. we got to go back to Alfred the Great. To get any sort of southwest connection. Oh, that's lovely, that breeze. You probably can't hear me properly now, but I'll just turn away a minute. Yeah, I was just saying, um, I'm Somerset, I feel Somerset, but none of my family are, and like none of my ancestors um, for many centuries, if not millennia. So, uh, there's probably, of course there's going to be the odd second cousins and all that sort of thing, or fourth, fifth, fifth. There's going to be that going on. It's a nice little stone, isn't it? Look at that. It's unusual, isn't it? Better hang on to that. Doesn't mean it comes from here, you know. When you pick stuff up off these paths, sometimes these stones are imported from quarries. It might not be local. So just because you find a nice stone doesn't mean it's indigenous to this area. God, isn't this beautiful? Do you know I feel so relaxed? I just wish people I know who are going through a bad time at the moment, like in their minds, could like this sort of thing, but we're all different. We're all so different, and we've got to do different things. Some people like painting, some people like their music. Uh, everybody's got their thing. But of course, when you're younger, before retirement age, and you're locked into the the work system, if you like, and all that goes with it, the culture of work. I mean, I'll never forget when I was 16, I'd done my O-levels, and I did A-levels later, but I went to work in a mental hospital as a cadet nurse. And, uh, of course, the work ethic was strong, you know. I mean, you daren't ever be ill, or if you're ill, you go in. Do you know what I mean? The work ethic. And we used to have to go and have breakfast. I mean, it, when I think about it, it was lovely. We used to have uh, everything you can have for breakfast. We all had. We had the fruit juice, we had the cereal, or we might have poached eggs, and we still had the bacon and everything. There's one thing I remember about working at Moorhaven was the brilliant food. It was beautiful. And loads of it. There was loads of food. Anyway, what I'm saying is, as young cadets, I lived in the nursing home with other 16-year-olds, 17, till we were 18. Then you could choose to be a student nurse. But anyway, I remember when we had to get up, someone would get... Well, I was an early bird, so, uh, but I still remember thinking, this is it now. This is what you've got to do. You've got to get up every day. Seven o'clock, if not earlier, go up. You have to have, get washed, dressed. Go up to the restaurant. Have your proper breakfast for the day. And they didn't rush you either, and we used to have beautiful dinners. When lunchtime came, it's none of this canteen stuff where everybody's got to gulp their food down. You were waited on. We had proper sit-down meals. Three-course meals we had. 
I was really looked after when I was a nurse in the young days. And you compare it to when I was a trained nurse later on, or a student nurse later on.